Hi guys and welcome to this video. Now I'm going to be doing a very quick video um, showing uh, beginners to the, the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 um, the differences between the three uh, main gimbal modes and there's actually a, a fourth one, a kind of special one, but that's used quite rarely. Alright, let's start. So the um, if you're holding your gimbal like, uh, like so, if you press the M button until the very first symbol is shown right next to the uh, green uh, battery symbol now this mode is the pan follow mode so uh, this mode has uh, two of the axes unlocked and let me show you what they are so if you um, turn the gimbal um, to the left or to the right notice the mobile follows that action so we this is the pan access allowing us to obviously pan um, to the left and to the right the other axis that's unlocked in this mode is the tilt axis, and that's the one that looks up and looks down. So if I tilt the gimbal and sort of push the bottom forward like this and rotate the um, mobile up, notice I can now look upwards with the uh, camera on the mobile phone, and I can also tilt the gimbal downwards and the mobile will slowly follow that action down. I notice with the gimbal, if you need to use some gimbals, that it's uh, quite, you know, the gimbal moves um, in a sort of slow reaction to what you're doing. So if I actually turn it to the left or to the right, it's maybe a bit of a delay before it turns. Now that's exactly um, working correctly as you should expect. So it's trying to keep the, the motion um, nice and smooth. Now on this mode, the pan follow mode, I've already mentioned two axes that are unlocked. The third axis, which is the rotation axis, is locked. So if you try and turn the gimbal, for example, if I move it like this, or like this, notice the mobile remains level. So this actual, um, it's not following, it's not tilting um, in the same direction as I've got um, the gimbal pointed. So that is the rotation axis that's locked in this mode. Well, let's now move on to the second mode. So if you press the M button again, you should see a little circle or like a I'm not sure what it is like a little pancake or, or a halo a symbol appear on the screen now this is the second mode which is the tilt locked mode so as the name suggests this prevents you from tilting the camera up or down so if I turn to try and tilt it like this notice now that the, uh, the mobile phone doesn't actually look up like it did before or if I try and tilt downwards it also remains level. So this is locking the tilt axis. But I can still turn it to the left and I can turn it to the right. So the pan axis mode is still unlocked. But just like the previous mode, if I try and to, um, to uh, rotate it like this, it also remains level. So this is the most restrictive mode out of all the three main gimbal modes. Now let's go on to the final main mode, which is the FPV mode. So if you press the um, button again, the M button, you should see uh, another symbol that to me looks like a sort of ball, ball of wool, or maybe like um, a, a football. I'm not, I'm not really sure what this um, symbol is supposed to be, but this is the FPV mode. Um, now this is the least restrictive mode out of all three. So if I try and tilt the camera up, you can see that it tilts up. If I tilt it down, then it also tilts down. I can uh, turn it to the left and I can also turn it to the right, so that's the pan axis. Now, on this mode, being the least restrictive, I can actually now, if I actually turn it, notice that the mobile phone is now actually spinning with me, it's actually following the action. So this is the rotation axis that's been unlocked. So it doesn't now matter what I do, if I tilt up or tilt down, you can see that the mobile phone is, is following exactly what I'm doing with the gimbal. So that is the difference between all three of the main gimbal modes. Now, when might these modes be useful? Well, the FPV mode, the, this third mode, is the least restrictive. So you can use it, for example, if you're following anything that's got fast action, for example, maybe some children running around or a dog running around, or you know, you're following someone on a bicycle or, or gymnastics. So it's more of an action-oriented mode. The other two modes, the pan follow and the tilt locked mode, are more designed for slow, mo slow movements. Um, for example, if you're doing B-roll or you're doing like some shots and travel, you're trying to control the smoothness of the shots. For example, you're trying to do a dolly shot or you're, you're trying to reveal a scene. So you're going to probably pick these two modes rather than the FPV mode. 
Now in terms of walking videos, um, I would all generally suggest most people use the pan follow mode because it allows you to sort of look around, um, but it doesn't go, it doesn't sort of rotate the mobile phone. So that's the mode to use for that. However, some people also like the tilt locked mode for walking videos because it keeps the, the mobile phone nice and level. So if you're walking down a street, for example, you don't necessarily want it to um, tilt, and, tilt up and tilt down um, if you're wanting to uh, keep the street level. But the disadvantage of that mode is that if you want to look up at a building, then the tilt lock mode won't allow you to do that. So you have to be in a pan follow mode for that. So, you know, I'm going to do a load more video, videos about, uh, for beginners, particularly on which mode is useful in certain situations. But for now, I just wanted to show you the three ba main basic gimbal modes. Now, as a reward for sticking around to the end of the video, um, I just want to show you the fourth mode, which is a kind of special, um, special effects mode, I suppose. And that's the spin shot mode. Now, if you press the M button again, you should see kind of like a circle, and it's right next to the M button. Um, like a never-ending circle. So this is a spin shot. Now for this movement you have to use the joystick on, on your gimbal and if you just tilt it um, or turn it or to the right or left notice the mobile phone is now actually spinning on its own. So that's why it's called the spin shot mode. Now where this might, this might be useful well, is more as a kind of like a special effect for example maybe you're walking down a, a tunnel and you want to sort of show it um, spinning around or you may be looking up for example the trees where I'm here in the forest and you want to get shots of the, uh, the canopy perhaps not in the winter but in, in, in the spring and you want to look up you can literally just turn the, um, the mobile phone and just let it spin around so it's, it's pretty useful for that but other than that I wouldn't say it's a particularly uh, useful mode I don't tend to use it very often. Okay guys well I hope that's useful um, and you know if you, it is, also I appreciate a like and a comment, and of course, um, if you can subscribe to the channel, that would be even better. I would much appreciate it. Other than that, take care, and I shall see you soon.